we are trying to find the value of k. And k is 5.1 times 10 to the n. And you know that multiplying by a factor of 10 moves the decimal to the right. It makes it larger. We know it makes it larger because they tell me that n is positive. So clue one. All right, I think that's going to work, but we need to make sure that there wouldn't be two of them. Let's see. Um, if n is 1, you multiply by 10, it's going to turn into 51, right? 2, it's going to be 510. 3, it's going to be 5100. 4, that's going to be 51,000. And 5, it's going to be 5111234. So 510,000. So K is in between, there's only one number in between 6,000 and 500,000. It's this one. So that means n would be 4, so yes, yes, yes. So 1 works. And 2, you're given k squared equals 2.6001 times 10 to the 9. Well, of course, that's going to work. Just take the square root of both sides, and you're going to have the value of k. You don't have to do that work because with data sufficiency problems, we're not, we, we're not trying to find the actual value of k. Just is there enough information given to us that that we could find K, and the answer is yes. So two works as well, my answer is gonna be D. Both work independently.